Officials want to change it up when it comes to monitoring the water quality at our beaches. Under federal law, the state is required to notify the public whenever bacteria levels exceed a specific threshold. Sarah Madison learns that the method they're using now is not suitable for Hawaii. Sarah. Sam, the state tests for a bacteria called enterococci. Now, high levels of it is supposed to indicate the presence of sewage. But state officials from the Clean Water Branch say that has not always been the case. Under the recommendation of the Environmental Protection Agency, the state has been testing beaches for a bacteria called enterococci to indicate the presence of fecal waste. Since every beach in the state cannot be tested, they were divided into three tiers. We looked at several factors. One is um, the, the number of people there, um, and we also looked at types of facilities, restrooms, showers, and things like that. And a big deciding factor was the presence of lifeguard stands. Beaches under Tier 1, like at Magic Island and Hanama Bay, are monitored on a weekly basis. If there are high levels of it, then warning signs are posted on the beach and email notifications are sent out. But Myron Honda of the state's clean water branch says that bacteria is not a good indicator in Hawaii because it's shown to grow in our tropical environment. It grows in um, the soil, um, especially near um, uh, streams and things like that. So um, moist soil with um, decaying organic matter. So it is present in, in the environment. By us detecting enterococci in the water, it is not an indication that there is sewage in the water. Honda says they've teamed up with the University of Hawaii to do a study of another source they could test for and get the EPA's approval. I'm hoping that we would be able to use would be the clostridium since we have a lot of data on that. So what, we're, what we want to do is correlate the, the presence of those pathogens and the, and the density with the presence of clostridium. Now, we'll let you know of any changes made if you would like to receive notifications from the state about high bacteria levels. We explain how to sign up on our website at khon2.com. Sam, back to you.